I will now solder the top of this first cell. So it's the same as before, just run the flux pen all the way down the white line this time. You then want to check, check the length, it should be roughly right, that's about right, if it's too long just give it a snip. And assuming the soldering iron is hot enough, I should be able now to solder down the top. The best way to do this is just to hold it on until you notice that the solder just around where you're holding the soldering iron has gone molten, it's gone liquid. And at that point, you can run it all the way along. So this one's taking a little while. I'm just going to keep holding it on. Don't press too hard because you risk damaging the cell. See my breath, it's quite a cold day, which is why it's probably taking a bit longer. There we go. So now that's got molten. And I'm just going to run all the way down here. And down the bottom here, the uh, tubbing wires just slightly run off the white line here because there's a slight misalignment. Uh, that's not the end of the world. As you can see, almost all of it is running along the white line. If it was only touching one little bit of this white line, we would still actually make a circuit. It wouldn't be a very good circuit, but it would still make a circuit, given that we've got probably you know 95% of that on the white line we're going to have a good circuit there so don't worry too much if um, little bits go off to the side like that so we're now going to do this for each of the three on all of these apart from this one because that's going to take cross topping which we'll do in the next section